Hey there YouTube, California Prepper. This is going to be a video response to one of, one of my favorite chicks here on YouTube, uh, Michelle Just Playing. She's having a 700 sub contest and it, it's going to be fun. Now, she's given us a couple choices on uh, things that we can do. We can A, uh, either paint your face, uh, some zombie uh, uh, paint and uh, make this video in your best zombie voice and uh, do the rest of the stuff you're supposed to do or B you can show your zombie apocalypse weapons now you guys know I, I, I'm not very good at showing my face on these uh, videos yet so I opted to uh, show my zombie apocalypse weapons now you guys have probably seen these but uh, I figured might as well do it anyways and she's having an awesome giveaway. She's giving away some really cool prizes. Uh, first place, she's giving away a awesome K-Bar uh, pistol bayonet, which would fit perfectly on my pistol. Uh, see, my sidearm is a Smith & Wesson Sigma SW40VE, and it has this rail up front, and I did get the, um, whatever the conversion rail is, or... Uh, whatever it's called and uh, I have a light laser combo that slides right on the front but that K-Bar bayonet would slide right on the front and would be badass so that's an awesome prize that's first place uh, second place prize is um, a oh it's a it, it's a zombie uh, machete and third place is a zombie killer like Spartan sword that thing is dangerous <laughs> it, it, it's savage so first second and third place are all some really cool blades and then you get a, a 550 paracord bracelet and a really cool um, zombie decal sticker with it so really cool contest you guys got to go check it out um, and, and it's real easy to enter all you have to do is show your zombie apocalypse weapons give a few shout outs and uh, before I forget let me do that shout out part because I forgot that last time so here's my list here my first shout out is gonna be for Texas Jedi he has 496 subs right now he's a really cool guy he's always helping out just about every giveaway I see anymore he's always donating to he's an awesome guy and he has a really cool channel so go check him out he, has, he does some really good reviews um, next up Jennifer Young gotta have a chick in the list she's an awesome chick she's having a really cool contest as well I'm not sure if it's over yet uh, but go check her out she's a really cool girl and she's definitely worth a sub she's awesome she'll sub you back in, and she's cool she's all around awesome and uh, last but not least on my subs the smoking ape man this guy is awesome he does some great knife reviews and he's really smart about his stuff and for some reason, he only has 303 subs. I don't know how that works because uh, he has such an awesome channel. So go check out these people. I'll leave the links right down here in the bottom for you guys so you can go check them out. And uh, it'll be a little easier on you to find them. So let's jump into this. Let me uh, get this giant thing out of the way so we can scoop forward and see the rest. First off, I, uh, you guys know I don't have a rifle, unfortunately. I live in California. And with all the restrictions and the price and having two kids and a wife I just can't afford a rifle otherwise I would have one uh, but this is my battle rifle of sorts like James Yeager said it doesn't matter if it's a shotgun a 22 a, you know a 30-06 hunting rifle whatever you have is your battle rifle or your battle shotgun and uh, this is mine it's a 18 and a half inch uh, Stevens uh, 320 I think it's a home defense model it does have the pistol grip handle but I love that it has a stock as well I, I don't believe in just uh, pistol grip shotguns they're absolutely useless in my book uh, y you gotta have a stock but um, I, I opted for the pistol grip as well because at the time I didn't have my sidearm and uh, I wanted something my wife could handle a little bit easier so I figured the pistol grip would be a little easier for her to hold uh, and keep in her arm so let's get this bad boy out the way and scoot you on forward all right we got five minutes so after the shotgun fighting shotgun you have your sidearm which i showed you 
the Smith & Wesson SW40VE chambered in 40 love this thing and like I said I have the uh, have the laser light combo that goes on that blade wise you gotta have blades in the pocket right and I'm a huge folder guy you guys know on a regular basis I pack three at least three knives with me so I probably have at least four uh, 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 three three to four folders and a fixed blade my fixed blade of course would be my K-Bar USMC like the Miami Prepper says if it's good enough for the military and the Marines it's good enough for me and uh, these are some battle proven blades and they're awesome they really are my folder for sure this is my go to war blade the ZT0200 this thing is a beast I think this is really one of the best just uh, it's just built for war it really is it's so ergonomic so tough feeling just a great great knife love that knife uh, next up I would have to say the police the spider co police is just such a badass knife especially with those serrations that thing is just gonna chew something up and uh, this thing would do some damage it is a lockback not my favorite design but it is tough and uh, man that thing's just rugged right there Spyderco Manix 2 XL I love this knife this is where it would be hard I don't know what I would carry out of these but what I whatever I wouldn't have on me my wife would have uh, this here is one that I would keep now it's not the uh, biggest and baddest but it is a uh, quick knife it gets out there quick if it's your last ditch effort and uh, that's what I like about the Kershaw blur plus you got that black matte blade non-reflective so nobody's gonna see it coming out their gut and try and stop you if, if they're too close it's just right in there and last but not least over here we have the bad blood fire spitter this thing is just a beast reminds me a lot of the zero two hundred out of the same ergonomics just a beast of a knife so those are some folders like I said I have my folders and my fixed blade and then in the pocket I'd also have this badass beast this is the combat ready uh, what is it the EDA everyday axe pocket folding axe this thing is savage got yourself a lanyard wrap it around your wrist and just go to town on whatever Dave Maddock has a review of this thing, and it's actually the same one. This thing has been beaten up, and it, it's just, it, it's a beast. This thing's awesome. It really is. I mean, just closed, like I've said so many times, just closed. That's going to do some damage. This thing is so badass. It's really not practical, but it's just badass. It really is. And last but not least, on the zombie weapons you gotta have a blunt object if all else fails you have the don't have enough room here don't want to break my sliding glass door you have the expandable baton and that'll bust some shit up right there trust me I busted some shit up with this before so those are my new and improved zombie apocalypse weapons list hope you liked it Michelle just playing Congratulations on your subs. You're an awesome chick. Hopefully I can send a few more your way. And uh, that's going to do it. California Prepper, I'm out of here.